1964, Beatles, TV, radio, Ed Sullivan. That was the on button for my whole life. My mother was pregnant with me and a psychic told her that she was gonna have a son who would be a musician and his life would change when he was seven years old and that was exactly the age that the Beatles hit. I got a guitar and meet the Beatles for my birthday. One day I was sitting on my front porch and all of a sudden I could play all the first position guitar chords without anyone ever teaching me. And I haven't looked back since. And still to this day I strive to get better. It's a never ending quest to try to learn. The more you know, the more you realize you know nothing. First time I ever made a dollar, we played uh, at a, somebody's birthday party. We only knew three songs. It was Gloria, House of the Rising Sun, and a Beatles song. And that's all we knew, so we just kept playing the same three songs over from the girls would scream and stuff like that. And I got paid a couple of dollars. And you know, when you're nine years old, that would keep me in candy for quite some time. I had a really terrible, terrible time in grammar school up until the point where I played at the sixth grade graduation with my band, which by that time had become fully electric and I could actually play. I had a fuzz tone and a wah wah pedal, and all of a sudden I went from being total dork to like being like one of the coolest kids in the school overnight, you know? And we started doing gigs on the weekends and making like five, ten dollars a guy, playing at parties and rallies and stuff and outdoors and basically we're anywhere we possibly could. And that's when I announced to my parents, I'm going to be a rock musician, I'm going to be famous. My parents were like, oh, great. I started reading album covers and like I saw familiar names of records that I liked and got into the concept of studio musician. I thought, wow, what a cool thing that would be to do. Oh. 